Hello guys, I'm back. Today, let me cover the following question. How a chemical process engineer can increase his or her employability? Which skills are required to increase the employability of a chemical process engineer? My name is Jefferson Costa and I teach students, graduates and engineers how to work with chemical process engineering and plant design. To be able to answer this question, first we need to define what is a skill. So, one of the definitions of skills, a skill is the ability to do something well. So, if you have the ability to do something well, you have a skill. So, what are the skills needed to increase the employability of a chemical process engineer? There are three types of skills that I will share with you and I will share at least one example of each one of them. There is the internal skills that are the skills you have to deal with yourself. There are the technical skills. Is it, are, it is the skill that you have to solve the problems related to your job. And there are the external skills that is the skill the, that you have to uh, do to have a relationship with others or with the environment or with the surroundings so let's explore better each one of them the external skills is the skills that you use to deal with yourself so to increase your employability one of the the skills that you, you must develop in the inner skills is how to set your goals. It's very important that you know how to set your goals to be able to achieve where you want to. So there are I receive a lot of requests if I am able to to recommend to a job or how are my tips to get a job. But people don't know where he wants to to reach. If you don't know how, where you want to reach, you will not be able to reach to anywhere. Or as the, the, the famous quote from Alice in the Wonderland, if you don't know where to go, any path is uh, okay to you. So, first thing, I believe that to increase your employability, it's important that you understand how to set the, the goal that you want for yourself in terms of jobs, for instance. And that leads to the second skills that you must uh, develop to in, in improve or to increase your employability. That is the technical skills. The chemical process engineer can work in a, in a vast uh, there are many areas where a chemical process engineer can work with, but each area or each field of expertise needs specific requirements for those positions. For instance, if you develop your internal skills and you know how to set your goals, one of your goals can be work with uh, research and development. So, to work with research and development, you need to have a set of technical skills that the companies require in research and development. If you want to work with operations, you need to develop a set of uh, technical skills that companies require for operations uh, position. Or if you want to work with chemical process engineering plan design, that is my expertise and what I learn here in my channel. So if you are a student, graduate, and engineer, you want to work with chemical process engineering plan design, subscribe to my channel now because here is the best place to, to learn about chemical process engineering and plan design in real life. So if you want to work with chemical process engineering plan design, you need to have the skills, knowledge and skills needed or required for the companies, and which are the three core technical skills that you must have to work as a chemical process engineer in plant design. The first one is to know how to perform heat and material balance, not only as hand calculations, but most often using process simulation softwares also 
still need to know how to read and develop engineering drawings like process flow diagram, block flow diagrams, pipe instrumentation diagram. And finally, you need to know how to issue, how to fill the process data sheets for equipment, for control valves, for pressure relief devices, for instance. So this is the minimal combo that a chemical process engineer must have to work with chemical process engineering and plan design. And the third type of skill that you must develop is the external skills. And you know, you already know how to set your goals. So my goal is to work as a chemical process engineer in plant design. Based on that goal, I need to identify what the companies want from a chemical process engineer in plant design. At a minimum, it material balance with process simulation software, engineering drawings, and process data sheet for equipment, control valve instruments, and etc. But how can I show that for the company? How can I show that kind, the, the skills that I have in order that I get job interview, I get job, job offer, that I, I go well in a job interview? And that leads to the third example that I will share with you here, that is marketing. In my point of view, and I always tell uh, I always tell my students in the In Process Booster training program, you must develop your external skills, mainly oratory, because you need to communicate with other people to show your ideas, to sell your your product that is you, and you need to to spend some time, you spend money to learn about marketing, because marketing is the art of showing people how is the benefits of a product. And in the job market, me, you, our colleague, we are products in the job market. So the, the, the way that you have to increase your employability as a chemical process engineer in this, in this video today is how to set your goals, learn how to set your goals, and based on that, you will be able to evaluate what kind of uh, technical skills you must have. In chemical process engineering plan design, you must know it material balancing again, uh, pro uh, engineering drawings, and process data sheets. And you must know how to, to show that to the market, and you will be able to do that using marketing techniques. Most of this content you can find here in my YouTube channel, mainly related to the technical skills. You just need to, to verify my timeline here and you will find a lot of video with real practice of chemical process engineering for students, graduates, and engineers. And before I finish this video, before I go, I want to know what, what question you would like to have answered in this channel. I am opening this opportunity to you to read in the, comment, in the comments here what is the question that you have, and I will do my best to answer that or to answer it as soon as possible. So this is it, guys. I hope you like it, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.